You all like those intros, so I'm going to keep doing them. <laughs> How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. As you all know, I like to keep you all up to date with all of the information and just everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 4 in one place as soon as possible. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a few different things. I'm going to list them now. Number one, I'm going to be talking about the next update, which is update 17, and why I think it's going to be a lot bigger than all of the other updates. Something quite strange is happening. Number two, I'm going to be talking very quickly about some rumours which are going around, some pictures of some cars, and why I think they're false, and why I think we don't have to be looking at them. Actually, I've got proof that it's false. And number three, some confirmed new cars. One of them's confirmed, the second one is maybe, but some new cars that are going to be in the next update, update 17, presumably. There are lots of different little information to cover in this video, so bear with me and try to try to listen as good as possible. So the first thing I'm going to touch on is update 17 and why I think it's a big one and going to be different to usual. We're currently in the third week of update 16. It is currently the 10th of December that this video is being uploaded and we will know that on the 12th of December it is the start of the last week of update 16, which means that on December the 19th we start the brand new month with the brand new cars and the brand new features, just how it usually works. Now what would usually happen is a few days before that season changeover, so the 16th or the 17th of December, this is when we would see the update 17 livestream with all the information in all the new cars. However, they're completely changing it up this month and they're giving us the update 17 livestream basically a week before it actually releases all the new cars anyway. The update 17 livestream, so everything you need to know about update 17, the new cars and the features and probably this whole eliminator thing is happening this Friday on December the 13th at 4pm, not 6pm, 4pm. Now that in itself is quite strange, they are giving us the information about update 17 a lot earlier than usual at 4pm and a few days before they usually would. This could just be because Christmas is upcoming but I don't know, something weird's going on. Now, if you don't know, Playground Games usually roll out updates at 6pm towards 10pm sometimes. So they could be doing the live stream on Friday at 4pm that gives them two hours to do the live stream and then release this big update from 6pm, 7pm when they would usually do it. Now, the other bizarre thing is the Forza Monthly. Forza Monthly happens just after the update live streams. However, this month, the Forza Monthly is happening a few days before the already early update live stream. The Forza Monthly is happening at 7pm tomorrow, December the 11th, which is more than a week before the Horizon 4 season changeover. There's a chance that there's nothing to do with Horizon 4 in the Forza Monthly, however, obviously on December the 13th later this week, we're going to find out everything we need to know. So that's one of the strangest things, and that's why I think that this update's going to be bigger than usual. They're completely changing the schedule, doing it earlier than usual, possibly to give themselves a longer live stream. We'll have to wait and see. Now, that's not the only reason that I believe that this is going to be a big update. As we all know, this Eliminator thing, they've been teasing at it like crazy. For example, one, they've added this new traffic truck to the game just to hint at this Eliminator thing. That's a lot of work just to hint at something. And then in the Update 16 live stream, they found that vehicle and kind of they acted like they didn't know what it was. They, they wanted to put our attention to it. I'm going to roll that clip now. And if Tommy Bargains appears next time, uh, you'll get a chance to see him. What was that? Turn around, let's go look at that thing. There it is. That is weird, isn't it? What is that? What, what does it say? It looks like it's properly sanctioned from the Horizon Festival. Well, let's not say any, let's yeah. not say any more about that whatsoever. Yeah. Um, right let's drive past it. It's probably not important. Probably a new grocery store. Or something. Sounds like an energy drink. See, that's just weird. And then along with that, this month's Torben Tuesday, nearly all of the whiteboard was full of just the Eliminator related stuff. Whatever this is, it's going to be something pretty good because they're not going to do this much effort and put so much work into just teasing and giving us clues towards one thing if it was just a little bit, little feature. They've never teased something as much as they are teasing whatever this Eliminator thing is. So I reckon this Eliminator thing is a lot bigger than most people is expecting. And along with that, there's a few tweets from certain Playground Games people, I can't even think of the word, that this live stream is going to be something special, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, 
Now, the second thing I want to quickly touch on is just debunking a few things that people have been presuming about the Eliminator thing, whatever it is, we still don't know. As you all know, they changed the truck, the traffic truck of Forza Horizon 4 to be the Eliminator design. We don't know what it could be. Now, people have been wondering if there's anything else in the game that hints at what the Eliminator could be, anything else that they've added. And people have noticed these, these flatbed pickup trucks with stuff on the back concrete piping, bricks and metal pipes, stuff like that. Now to be honest with you, I've never seen these flatbed trucks before in the game with stuff on the back and I bet loads of you haven't either. However, and lots of people are saying they've added these, this is a hint towards what the Eliminator could be. It's something to do with these props, these tubes, building, maybe you throw bricks at each other. Well unfortunately, I did a bit of research because I wasn't 100% sure and I have found proof that these flatbed trucks, even with the stuff on the back, have been in the game for a very long time. As you can see on screen, here's a screenshot of these trucks in question. And this screenshot was actually taken by a Playground Games employee 10 months ago. So as surprised as I was, these flatbed trucks with stuff on the back have been in the game for a while. So if you're one of the people that have seen information that these could be related to the Eliminator, we're more than likely wrong. And I think also some of you may know the slap train managed to drive one of these flatbeds with the stuff on the back many months ago um, in a modded vi video which is now taken down. Yeah, to put it short, I just had to debunk that. It took a while to find it to be honest. That these have been in the game since release. So unfortunately I did manage to find proof these have been in game since release. Therefore more than likely nothing to do with the Eliminator. Which is a shame but you never know. Now the third thing that I said I'd touch on is the new leaked vehicles. Now occasionally, a few days before each update, we usually get a teaser image on Twitter and it usually contains a picture of a new vehicle and they have done it. This month we were given, I'll just get the image up now, this picture here about Forza Monthly from Forza Motorsport and as we can see it says tune in December 11th, this is the about the Forza Monthly and we can see in the background a car which is the Alpine A110, which is actually one of the cars on the leaked car list, so that backs it up. But to me, this confirms that the Alpine is coming to Forza Horizon 4, or at the very least, Forza Motorsport 7 this week or next week, update 17. Now, there was actually another image posted as well, which is the iffy one. Forza Motorsport posted this picture of the 1965 Shelby 289 Cobra, now the 289 Cobra is not in Forza Horizon 4. We've got the 427 Cobra, but not the 289. The 289 Cobra is kind of the, the previous version, I think. I think I'm right by saying that. So we may be seeing the 1965 Shelby 289 Cobra coming to Forza Horizon 4 next week as well. Now the, the good thing about this is this actually matches up with the Torben Tuesday clue that we were given last week, which was Carol. This interestingly matches the, you know, the fact that this is a Shelby Cobra coming. This could have been what the whole Carol thing on Torben Tuesday was hinting at. So, to be short, we're probably seeing the Alpine next week and possibly the this Shelby Cobra as well. So yeah, those are the cars. But the main part in this video is update 17 is going to be a weird one. It may not be a huge update, but I think whatever this Eliminator thing is is going to be a little bit different to usual to the extent where they're kind of changing the schedule. We're getting the update live stream earlier, um, we're getting the falls of monthly earlier. They have been putting so much effort into having this eliminated thing teased at us and they don't usually do this. So we'll have to wait and see what exactly is going on this week. Now a bit of information, tomorrow is Wednesday, if there's anything interesting in the falls of monthly about any new cars or features or whatever, um, I'm going to do a video on it, so stay tuned for that. There'll be a video or maybe even a live stream on Thursday about the new Supra. And on Friday, there will be a video about the Update 17 live stream. So this week and next week, you can expect a lot of videos from me about all sorts that's going on. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed. I hope this has got you a bit up to date with the weird, strange, bizarre, malarkey things that are happening this month. It's certainly something to look forward to. Let me know in the comment section below what you think the Eliminator is going to be. But anyway, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Fox House Ball content. And I shall see you all in a few days with another new video.
you will like this. 